Hi there, I'm William Earnhardt, a Bible worker in the uh, Florida area. And I want to share another resurrection moment with you. Uh, this one takes place on the road to Emmaus, and it's a very uh, mysterious uh, conversation uh, that Jesus has with two of his followers, because at first they don't even recognize him. And we're going to see there's a reason why. In uh, Luke chapter 24, uh, beginning with verse 13, it says, now behold, two of them were traveling the same day to a village called Emmaus, which was seven miles from Jerusalem. And they talked together of all these things which had happened. So it was while they conversed and reasoned that Jesus himself drew near and went with them. But their eyes were restrained so that they did not know him. So this is very interesting. Verse 16, Revelation, uh, Revelation. Luke 24, uh, verse 16, tells us that uh, their eyes were restrained so that they didn't recognize him. And we're going to see the reason why. So in verse 17, it says, He said to them, What kind of conversation is this that you have with one another as you walk and are sad? Then one whose name was Cleopas answered and said to him, are you the only stranger in Jerusalem and you have, and have not known the things which have happened there in these days? Verse 19, and he, Jesus, said to them, what things? So they said to him, the things concerning Jesus of Nazareth, who was a prophet, mighty in deed and word before God and all the people, and how the chief priests and our rulers delivered him to be condemned to death and crucified him. But we were hoping that it was he who was going to redeem Israel. Indeed, beside all this, today is the third day since these things have happened. Yes, and certain women of our company who arrived at the tomb early astonished us. When they did not find his body, they came saying that they had also seen a vision of angels who said he was alive. And certain of those who were with us went to the tomb and found it just as the women had said. But him they did not see. Now, at, at this point, I'm thinking if I'm Jesus, I would say, hey, guys, look, it's me. I'm Jesus. I, I'm resurrected. Everything's okay. But remember, their eyes were restrained so that they didn't recognize him. And Jesus didn't say, hey, look, it's me. Instead, he does something very interesting here. In verse 25, he says unto them, O oh, foolish ones and slow of heart to believe in all that the prophets have spoken? Ought not Christ to have suffered these things and to enter into his glory? Now I'm reading Luke 24, 27. And beginning at Moses and all the prophets, he expounded to them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. Interesting to me, that Jesus didn't tell them, hey, look, it's me. Instead, he took them to the scriptures and showed them in the scriptures that the Messiah must be crucified and would rise again. Why did Jesus take them to scripture instead of just saying, hey, guys, look, it's me. I mean, after all, isn't seeing believing? But Jesus didn't want them going by what they saw. Appearances can be very deceiving. Jesus wanted them going by scripture. You see, the serpent deceived Eve uh, by showing this beautiful front fruit and, and presenting before her an illusion uh, of having some higher form of existence if you disobey God. Now, God's word said you eat from the fruit of the forbidden tree and you die. But appearances, the serpent is able to, to make this appearance uh, that uh, you're going to have a higher existence. And when appearances, when what Eve saw contradicted what God's word said, she believed in what she saw. 
and she was wrong. She did die. God's word always proves true. In Daniel 2, we have the vision of the, sorry, we have the vision of the image that takes us from Babylon to uh, Medo-Persia, Greece, Rome, and then into Europe. And, and those toes represent Europe. And in Daniel 2, it says that they will not cleave one to another. Well, we're, during World War II, when Hitler was raging all over Europe and it looked like he wasn't going to be stopped, Arthur Maxwell wrote an article for Signs of the Time magazine explaining that Hitler cannot win. Hitler cannot take over all of Europe because in Daniel 2, speaking of the toes, which represented Europe, it says they will not cleave one to another. Well, Arthur Maxwell's boss didn't want to publish the article. He said, well, we don't know what's going to happen yet. Arthur Maxwell said, what do you mean we don't know what's going to happen? Daniel 2 tells us. See, Arthur Maxwell's boss, like Eve, was going by appearances. Arthur Maxwell was going by God's word. Turned out, Hitler didn't take over all of Europe. Turns out, God's word was true, even though appearances seemed to contradict what God's word said. Friends, this is why I believe Jesus did not let them recognize him. He did not want them going by appearances. He did not want them going by what they saw. He wanted them going by God's word. And even today, uh, there are many occasions where, where people are deceived. Uh, people thinking that they can communicate with the dead or, or a dead loved one appeared to them while the Bible is clear that the dead know nothing. Saul, King Saul, in 1 Samuel 28, 14, was deceived. At the Witch of Endor, he thought he was talking to Samuel. Very important to realize that in 1 Samuel 28, 14, it says that Saul perceived that it was Samuel. It doesn't say it was Samuel. It says Paul, I'm sorry. It says Saul perceived that it was Samuel. But it wasn't. It was Satan deceiving him with appearances. Friends, this is why it's so important that we don't go by what we see, but we go by the word of God. Because every time appearances contradict the word of God, like with Eve, like with Hitler in World War II and Arthur Maxwell and, and his uh, boss at the publishing company, just like Saul at the Witch of Endor, every time appearances contradict the word of God, appearances are wrong. God's word proves true every single time. That is why Jesus wanted those two men he met on that road to go by scripture and not by what they saw. And friends, today, God wants us to go by his word, not by what we see. He has given us his word, which even when it contradicts appearances, even when it contradicts what we see, God's word proves true every time. Friends, I want to encourage you to put your faith in God's word. God bless you.